Hey guys, so I'm super excited that today we're gonna to be taking a look at the recently launched Bobax Travel Sweatshirt 2.0. And so a while back, we actually reviewed the first version of some of Bobax's original jackets. We looked at the bomber jacket and the blazer, and I was a really big fan of all the different features that the jackets had to offer. So I was very excited when I saw the announcement for the second version of these jackets. And so in the original videos that I did for the bomber jacket and the blazer, I talked about how much I really loved the idea of a jacket like this, particularly on this channel where we focus so much on one bag travel. This really seemed like the perfect accessory to combine with a larger travel bag so that you can kind of have all your essentials on you while you're traveling and be able to reach them comfortably and not have to carry an additional smaller bag to hold all those items. And through my testing with the original jackets, I was very impressed with how well the system worked and how awesome it was to be able to get to the security line, put my bag down, take the jacket off with all my kind of smaller accessories on me and place that on the security line. It made traveling a lot more convenient. And so I was very excited when the company reached out to see if I wanted to test one of their 2.0 jackets. So they were kind enough to send over the sweatshirt for me to test out. And so just like I felt with the original jacket, I think this is an awesome travel accessory for anybody who's looking to reduce the amount of things that they have to carry with them while they're on the go, or to just be a little bit more comfortable during a flight or transit. And so I wanna go ahead and thank the company for sending the jacket for me to test out, and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Bobax Travel Sweatshirt 2.0. So starting off with the jacket itself, I was very happy to see that it was actually really comfortable to wear as a sweatshirt on its own. It's made out of a really soft cotton material, which is really comfortable. It provides a fair amount of warmth. It's a little bit thicker than I expected it to be, which is really nice. This is gonna be awesome to use on a long flight and it's gonna keep you nice and warm, but it's not so thick that it's gonna be uncomfortable in a variety of climates. So I live in Florida, so I wouldn't really want a huge heavy jacket to take around with me, but for something that I can take to an office or wear on a flight, this is gonna be really great. And that was a big relief to see how well this actually did work as a sweatshirt. Given all the different features that this offered, I was a little worried that the sweatshirt portion itself would get a little forgotten. So on its own, the jacket has been really great to wear. And so with an item like this, one of the biggest concerns is the fit. And so the size that I have here is the medium and it fits me really well. That's the size that I would typically order in a jacket or a hoodie such as this. And I was very excited to see that it hugs my body pretty nicely. It's not too tight, not too big on me. And the length of the sleeves is just right. And so as you can see in the footage here, the sweatshirt fits me very well. I'm 5'11", to give you an idea of just how long the jacket is. So for me, this was a really great fit and I recommend ordering close to your typical size. And so as a sweatshirt, I really like the overall look and fit that this has. It's really comfortable to wear. The sweatshirt is offered in two different colors. This is a nice kind of charcoal gray color and it's also offered in a navy. And I really like kind of all the subtle pockets that it has. I was a little worried that with so many pockets, the sweatshirt might look a little strange, but everything just blends in very nicely. I really like the overall style that the sweatshirt has. And so obviously this is a really cool jacket in the fact that it has so many different features and pockets and that it can hold so many different accessories. And we're gonna dig into all that. But one thing I wanna mention is that it is still a sweatshirt, so it's not rigid. And it will feel a little bit strange to kind of wear this with all the different items in the sweatshirt. So if you have a tablet, and a power bank and a phone and a bunch of heavy stuff, it is gonna kind of flop around and feel a little bit unusual. And I don't think this is a big deal because typically as you're wearing this throughout the day, you're probably not gonna have all those different items on you at one time. This is really meant to kind of hold everything that you would need to board a flight, sit down and be comfortable as you're traveling. But as you get to your destination, I imagine you take things out like the tablet or some of the heavier, bulkier items that you might not wanna lug around with you all day. But even when it's filled up with all its items, the jacket still wears comfortably. It's very easy to get to everything. And so let's just go ahead and dive into some of the external features of the sweatshirt. And so the first thing I'll call out is that there are detachable gloves in the sleeve to provide a little bit of extra warmth on those colder flights. And so I really like that these are detachable as these do come out a good amount. So this elastic area of the sleeve sits comfortably on my wrist. And then the gloves come out a good amount to give a nice comfortable fit. The material itself is pretty thin. I'm not entirely sure how much additional warmth it would add, especially since your fingers are exposed, but it does add a little bit of extra covering to your hands, so that's nice. And then the really nice thing is that you can actually detach these once you arrive to wherever you're going. If you wanna use the jacket during the day, you can take these off as they do tend to get in the way as you're using the jacket. And one thing to note is that the opening on the glove is a little bit more on the narrow side, so it fits comfortably and it has a good amount of give. 
so that you can actually put it on easily if you do have a bigger hand such as I do. And as you can see here, it still provides enough width to be comfortable, but I did notice that if I was wearing a watch as I was trying to put this on, it did have a tendency to kind of knock the glove off the Velcro. So just a small inconvenience as you're putting it on, but still really well implemented overall. The glove itself has this nice soft material. It fits comfortably. And if you don't want to use them, you can just leave them off and save them for whenever you need them. Continuing on with the outside of the jacket, one thing that I'll call out here is I really love how subtle and minimal the branding is. It just has a very small tag here on one of the outside pockets. And then speaking of these pockets, they may seem like your typical hoodie pockets, but they do have a few tricks hidden inside, which is really cool to see. So first off, I will note that these are hand warming pockets, so they do have a nice lining on the inside to provide a little bit of extra warmth. This is gonna combine really nicely with the open fingered opening of the gloves. So if you need a little bit of extra warmth, you can tuck them in here. Or even if you leave the gloves off, this is gonna be able to provide some warmth to your hands as you're moving around. So really like the lining on the inside here, a good size on these pockets. My hands fit comfortably. As I've mentioned, I have pretty big hands. And so included with the jacket in one of the pockets, you have a retractable keychain and clip that is attached to a whistle and bottle opener, which I thought was a really nice touch. So I really love these sort of retractable keychains, and I think it's really convenient to actually have this in the pocket so that if you are using this on your day-to-day -day and you have your house keys attached, you can just pull them out very easily. This has a good amount of expandability, so you can reach to your car or your house very easily. I really like the easy clip that it has here, a nice simple metal clip. And then attached to the clip is the bottle opener and whistle, which was a really nice touch. And I love that you can kind of detach this if you don't want to use it. And then the retractable lanyard itself is actually detachable, which I thought was a really cool touch so that if you don't want to have the extra weight or bulk in the pocket, you can just leave it at home. And then another nice touch is that these clips to attach the lanyard are actually included in both pockets. So whether you're a righty or a lefty, you're going to be able to customize this for the way that suits you best. Continuing on with the outer pockets, the first pocket here is just a very simple vertical pocket, which is meant to hold something like your passport. Currently what I have in here is my field notes notebooks. So that's something I might wanna to get to quickly to just take some notes throughout my trip, but a passport will fit in here very comfortably and it's really nice to be able to access quickly as you're going through security or something like that. As you can see, this pocket is about the size of my hand and on the inside, it just has a really nice kind of meshy material that you'll see a lot as we go throughout the rest of the pockets in the bag. So very simple, very easy to get to and I love how easily the zippers open and close without catching. On the other breast of the jacket, there is a really nice horizontal pocket which actually serves as a koozie pocket. So it has a nice insulated material on the inside where you could rest a drink as you're traveling. In the original jackets that we reviewed on the channel a while back, this pocket was a little bit smaller, so it could actually only hold the smaller soda cans, but I was very happy to see that you can actually fit a full-size can. This is a normal size can, as you would find in any supermarket, and that fits in here very comfortably, as you can see. There's even leftover space. So that's a really awesome improvement. As, as, as much as I enjoyed the first jacket, I really did think that the pocket was not quite that usable, as this is the size of can that I'll typically have on me. So really nice implementation here. The inner lining itself is nice and insulated, prevents the rest of the inside of the jacket from getting wet. You can pull the lining out if you wanna dry it out a little bit or clean it out if you have any sort of mishaps. And then if you don't end up using this for a drink, you can use this for another smaller accessory that you can reach down and grab quickly. So really nice implementation there. Next up, I wanna talk about the zipper pull, and I thought this was a really neat feature in the original jacket, so I'm glad to see they've kept that here. So the zipper itself is very simple. It's very easy to use. I like how smoothly it opens and closes, so nothing catching, that's very nice to see. And then I really like the included stylus slash pen combo that they've included here as a zipper pull. This is one of the features that I really loved in the original, and I thought it was a really clever way to take advantage of some of the space on the zipper. And so this works really well as a zipper pull. This gives a nice amount of grip to make it easy to pull the zipper up and down. But more importantly, it's all about convenience as this does look a little bit silly sometimes. It is kind of big. It sticks out a little bit as you're wearing the jacket. So it's probably not something I would maybe keep attached to the zipper pull as I'm going about my day to day. But on a flight, this is definitely a great spot to have it as a pen and a stylus are definitely things that I typically like to use throughout the flight. So it's really nice that it has this very simple metal clip here that you can easily remove so that you can actually get to using it. And so on the tip, it just has a very simple stylus here, nice rubber tip. It's not gonna be anything fantastic, but in a pinch, it'll definitely help to jot down some notes on your tablet. And then the cooler part of this is the telescopic pen that it includes, so you can pull the cap off, and this actually extends into a comfortably sized pen to be able to write with. So before I got my Fisher Space Pen, this was kind of the ideal that I had found for an EDC type pen, something that was small, that was easy to carry, but that was still comfortable to write with. So I really love the implementation here. As you can see, the length is gonna be really nice to write with. And then when you're done, 
it's very easy to collapse and attach right back onto your zipper pull. And then as a nice bonus, I really love that the company included a few extra pen refills for when you run out. So there's three included with the jacket on top of the one that's already in the pen. So a nice value add there, really thoughtful implementation all around from the company. Whether I wear this on the zipper pull or not, this is definitely something that I really enjoy carrying around with me and just a really useful feature overall. Next up, I wanna talk about the hood. And so as a sweatshirt, as I mentioned earlier, this works very well. This is a super comfortable hoodie overall. And I was glad to see that the hood itself is, has the same kind of soft material. It's a nice size. It covers me enough to be comfortable and cover my ears to keep me warm. It has a few drawstrings here to help adjust or tighten the hood if you want it to stay on a little bit better. And then the hood itself has some really cool features hidden inside. So the first thing I'll talk about is the eye shade that it includes. So as you can see here, it has a nice button to help keep that out of the way if you don't want to cover your eyes. But if you are on a flight and you wanna just kinda of cover your eyes and take a quick nap, you can actually unbutton this here. And this allows the hood to come down a nice amount. I'm glad to see how well it covers my eyes. It comes down low enough to even reach my nose and provides just a nice amount of cover to make sure that I can go to sleep comfortably. I really like how soft the hood material here is so that it doesn't irritate your face and that it's just comfortable to wear. And then it's nice that when you're done with your nap and you don't need to use this anymore, you can just button it back up and then continue using this as a normal hoodie. Another feature here on the hood is that it has this kind of Velcro meshy compartment here to actually hold the detachable neck pillow. And so this was something that was included on the original travel jackets that the company developed, but they have made some improvements to the pillow here, which I thought were really neat. So as far as the shape, this is gonna be very similar to many of the inflatable pillows that are on the market. So there's nothing really unique about the shape itself, but what is very cool is the way that the company has implemented the inflation here. So it is very easy to inflate this. They advertise on their promotional materials that it would take just a few seconds with this new valve that they have here. And I have to say that was pretty accurate. I was surprised at how easily and quickly I was able to fill this up. And as a neck pillow, as you can see here, it works fairly well. I've never been a huge fan of this shape of neck pillow. That's nothing against this one in particular. This shape just doesn't suit me very well. It's never been very comfortable for using while I'm on a flight. I find that the back of the pillow always kind of pushes my neck forward and they're never quite thick enough to hold my head up if I fall asleep to the side. So in general, I wish that I could find a better solution for sleeping on a plane, but it is nice that I can just kind of toss this in and if I do feel a need to use it or if I want to lay down on an airport bench or something like that, I can detach this, put this down and have a comfortable pillow to use. The material itself is pretty soft and comfortable. I do wish it had more of kind of a fleece-like material, something a little bit softer, more similar to the material that's actually in the rest of the sweatshirt, which I really enjoyed using. So this isn't uncomfortable, but it is a little bit more rough than something like the fleece-like material, so just something to note there. And then one thing that was really nice, especially with an inflatable pillow, is just how easily it deflates. So that was one of the features advertised by the company, and I'm glad to see that that works as expected. It has a little valve here that you press down on, and you can deflate it once you're done using, and easily kind of close that valve, and then you can wrap and kind of fold the pillow back up once it's been emptied, and easily place it back into the mesh and Velcro compartment that you see here in the hood. Moving into the jacket, the first thing I'll call out is this included tether for your AirPods. I thought this was a really nice touch that the company included this and shows how it's kind of involving the different versions of the jacket as technology advances. So as I've mentioned in many videos, I'm a big fan of Apple's AirPods. I've done a full review for them. If you wanna check that out, I'll include a link in the description below, but these have been an absolutely fantastic tool for traveling. They're just so convenient and not having wires has really been a huge benefit as I'm going about my day to day. But that can be a little bit of an inconvenience if you're wearing these on a flight and you're trying to fall asleep. If you wanna to listen to an audiobook or watch a movie as you're trying to get sleepy and you use the pillow, I did notice that these can have a tendency to fall out as your head leans over. So that's always a concern as these aren't cheap. So it's really awesome to see that the company has included this tether here, which has these nice loops that it goes around, providing enough space so that they can wrap around comfortably. And then these are very easy to attach to the AirPods and then they hold them really securely in place. So as you can see here, I don't feel any fear that they're gonna fall out and I can just go to sleep peacefully knowing that if I do lean my head to the side a little bit too much, these are gonna hold on to them so that when I wake up, I don't have to frantically search around the plane or possibly forget one of the AirPods. So really nice touch here. And so the only thing I'll note with the AirPod tether here is that it does have a tendency to kind of fall out when you don't have the AirPods on it slips through these loops very easily. So 
If I didn't have the AirPods with me at any given time, I would definitely take this off as there's a good chance it would get lost if I was just kind of walking around and tried to leave this on. So I'd probably remove it as it's very easy to remove. There's a button closure here that you can unsnap, which keeps it fairly secure, but I would just take it off and probably keep it in one of the inner pockets while I'm walking around. And then whenever I felt the need to use it, if I wanted to do some sort of more intense activity or if I wanted to go on a flight, I would then attach it so that I didn't run the risk of losing it. So. Really love that it was included. These loops here also serve as cable management for if you do have wired headphones, you could just kind of thread them around here so that you don't have wires getting tangled up everywhere. So really nice, thoughtful design here. Nice carryover feature from the original jacket. And so starting off with the right side of the jacket, the first feature I'll call out here is that it has a nice pocket for your sunglasses. And so I really like that you can actually fit the sunglasses inside as opposed to having to hang them on the side, I feel like they would easily fall. So this is a nice size pocket. As you can see, I just have some pretty standard size Ray-Bans here and they fit in there very easily. There's even a little bit of room to spare. If you have a larger pair of sunglasses or eyeglasses, they fit in there very easily. They're easy to get to. And then I really love that they include the attached cloth to clean the sunglasses. It's a really nice, simple material. It attaches very nicely. It's not going anywhere. And it has a nice kind of elastic string here so that you can reach your sunglasses easily. This was something that was included in the original jacket. I'm glad they've chosen to keep that here as it is very useful. Next up on the bottom, there is a small slot that's meant to hold something like an Apple Pencil. I actually don't have an Apple Pencil, unfortunately, so I've just put in a stylus that I typically have with me. It's like a laser light combo, just to kind of showcase the sizing here. So it is a little bit of a deeper pocket as the Apple Pencil is a little bit longer, but this fits in here very comfortably. And it's gonna be able to hold any sort of simple pen that you wanna carry with you if you don't have an Apple Pencil either. And so next up is the tablet pocket. This was one of my favorite features from the original jackets and something that I find super useful, especially when I'm trying to use this as my carry on items so that I don't have to take like a daily bag with me on a flight. So this is one of the bigger items that I carry with me typically that doesn't fit easily into a pant pocket or something. So this opens up very simply, it's very easy to get to. Currently I have my iPad mini two in here and that fits in there very easily. This pocket as in the original is meant to hold a full size tablet so you could fit a nine or 10 inch tablet here. As you can see, the pocket very easily holds my iPad mini two. There's some leftover space here and then just pulling out the iPad mini two for size. I love how easy I'm able to get to that and how comfortably it holds it as I'm kind of boarding the flight. And so it is a little bit weird to carry something this heavy. As I mentioned a little earlier in the video, if you load the jacket up, especially on a softer jacket like a hoodie, you will kind of see the outlines of some of the shapes, especially if you have the jacket zipped up and it's a little bit more of a kind of form fitting jacket. So you will see a little bit of bulge if you have everything fit up at once or if you have a larger tablet. I don't notice it as much with the iPad mini two as this is a smaller tablet and it fits here pretty easily. This also fits my Kindle very well. But if you have one of the bigger tablets, that's just something to note that it might feel a little bit funky, especially if you're not used to wearing something like this. So really great implementation here overall. I really love the fit. Here you can get a better look at the size of my iPad mini. You see the meshy material allows you to kind of see through there and you see how much leftover space there is for a larger tablet. So if you have a full size iPad, I don't think it would be large enough to hold something like the 12 inch iPad Pro, but for most normal size Android and Apple tablets, this should work fine. And as you can see, it's very easy to reach. I really like the meshy material that was used. It's nice and soft. You don't feel like your tablet's gonna get scratched or anything like that. And then you can remove it very easily making this a really useful solution for eliminating one of the items you might have to carry on with you typically. And so moving on to the left inside pockets, a lot of internal organization here. So the first item here at the top, kind of on the other side of the passport pocket that we saw earlier is another vertical, kind of larger pocket where you might wanna put something like your phone. So I really like the amount of space provided here. This definitely fits my iPhone 10 very comfortably. And I really love the amount of space that's provided. Similar material to what we've seen in all the other pockets that sends soft mesh. So it's gonna provide a good amount of protection against scratching for your phone. And then I really like that this compartment actually has a little opening here on the bottom to allow you to thread a charging cable in as there is a power bank pocket, which we'll talk through in a little bit. But I like how easily you can reach a cable up through the power bank to go through the opening here so that you can comfortably charge your phone while you're on the go. So really nice, thoughtful feature here. Next up, there are two smaller Velcro and kind of elastic mesh compartments. So you can see what's inside these compartments. I really like the elasticity that's provided here. These are kind of sized perfectly to hold your AirPods. As you can see, I have my AirPod case in here. 
and the pocket has a nice Velcro to keep it closed if you have a smaller item in there. One thing I did notice, even though this is meant to hold the AirPods, it was a little bit tough to kind of get the Velcro to close when the AirPods were actually in the compartment. So it doesn't offer quite as much security as I would have wanted to see. There I kind of latched it on, but as I'm moving, I could definitely see this opening up and just kind of leaving this a little bit more exposed. So as I'm wearing the jacket, it's not a big deal, especially if I'm not moving around too much. It just allows me a spot to kind of rest the case so that I can reach it easily. But I did, I did wish that a little bit more space had been provided here to be able to secure the Velcro just a little bit better. But it's really nice to have a dedicated spot here to hold the case so that I'm not worried about it falling out of my pant pocket or having to reach down uncomfortably to grab it, similarly to what I was saying with my phone. And then next to that, there's another small, similarly sized Velcro compartment. As you can see, this one closes a little bit more securely. The Velcro is properly attached since the item that's currently in here is smaller than the AirPod case. And this is an item that was included with the jacket. The company provides some nice earplugs here if you're somebody who wants a little bit more silence and noise isolation during a flight. It's nice that the company has included these earplugs here. I'm not a big earplug wearer. I haven't used too many in the past, so these look fairly comfortable, but I don't really have a basis to compare them to. I typically just have my headphones in as I'm traveling. I'm assuming that this case is gonna be able to hold a variety of sizes of earplugs. So if you have a different style that you prefer, you can just kind of take these out, put yours in here, and you still have the benefit of a dedicated spot to kind of hold them and access them conveniently. So really nice job here on the two smaller pockets. And then here, I just wanna give a little bit of a better view. Both pockets seem to be similarly sized. So you could put the earplugs and the AirPods in either compartment. But as I showed with the AirPod case, it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter fit as it is a larger item and something you wanna make sure to keep an eye on as you're walking around with the AirPods in that pocket. On the bottom, there are two similarly sized mesh compartments that are meant to hold a power bank and a blanket that the company has included with the jacket. Moving on to the power bank pocket first, as you can see here, I have a larger power bank, so I love that you can actually put something that's really gonna charge you for the duration of a long flight in here very comfortably. As you can see, there's even a little bit of leftover space, so for some of those bigger anchor type power banks that I've seen, it's gonna fit in here very easily, and then it gives you a good distance to the phone pocket if you do wanna use it to charge your phone as you're walking around. Currently, I just have an elastic lightning cable here but I really like how comfortably this fits here. If you have something like a smaller point and shoot camera, that's gonna fit in here very comfortably as well. So I really like the elastic material and kind of the flexibility and what you can put in here. And then next to the power bank pocket, there is another similarly sized pocket. These are the same size and length. So you can definitely interchange which items go where if you wanna reach one quicker. And so in this pocket, I currently have the blanket that was included with the jacket. I thought this was a really nice additional feature to include. I haven't been able to find a nice blanket like this that's pocket sized to carry with me on a flight. So I know some flights kind of provide this, but it's really nice to just be able to show up with your own and be ready to just kind of settle into your flight and not worry about finding additional things. And then it's great how small and easily it packs up. As you can see, it's a little bit on the thinner side, but it does provide a little bit of covering. And the best thing about the lighter material used here is just how light and thin the blanket actually packs up, which makes it possible to store in the little included pouch and have it be able to fit comfortably in this pocket. So a little bit of a trade-off there between portability and lightness versus providing a little bit of extra warmth. But considering that you're gonna be wearing the hoodie and you also have the gloves, this is just kind of a nice extra layer to provide a little bit of additional warmth as you're getting settled into your flights. One last thing to note with the pockets here is that even though they're equally sized, they do have this Velcro divider in the middle, which you can separate if you want to just have kind of one larger elastic mesh compartment. So I really like the flexibility offered here if you have a larger item that you wanna carry with you, or if you wanna carry something in the jacket, such as the inflatable footrest that was included, there wasn't really another slot that I could find in the jacket for holding this, but this is another accessory that the company has included with the jacket. I really like how thoughtful they've been in making sure that you have all the accessories you need to be comfortable during all your travel. When I first saw this, I wasn't really sure what the benefits of having an inflatable footrest necessarily would be. You know, based off what I've read, it seems that having a little bit of extra elevation during a flight is gonna relieve some pressure from your legs and prevent deep vein thrombosis and things like that, especially if you're on the shorter side and your legs tend to dangle. This can provide a little bit of extra cushioning. I haven't used this on a flight yet, but another one of those kind of nice touches that I'm excited to try out as I go on longer flights to see if they make a huge difference. And if not, it's just one of those things that I could just leave at home if I want to reduce the amount of items that I'm carrying with me. But I really like that it has the same inflation system that the neck pillow had. So it's very easy to inflate here, very easy to collapse. It folds up into a nice compact package. And as I was saying, if you 
want to carry this with you on the jacket and you don't need these pockets for the power bank or the blanket and you prefer to carry the footrest, you can open this middle section up to make this a little bit bigger and then you can just tuck that in there very comfortably. Due to my height, I am always kind of uncomfortable on flights. I typically try to get an aisle or an exit row and try to stretch out my legs as much as possible. So I'm not sure how much I would use this as this is something I'd probably have to place in the seat in front of me and that typically reduces the amount of leg space that I have. But I am excited to try it out. It does appear to provide a fair amount of cushioning to provide a softer area for you to rest your feet over a long period of time. And I'm definitely glad it was included as an additional accessory with the jacket. And then the last accessory to call out that was included here is this travel water bottle. I really like this style of water bottle. It is very unbulky, very easy to kind of tuck away while empty and fit into one of the larger pockets of the jacket. And then if you want to fill it up with some water before a flight so you have a way to hydrate yourself, this is really convenient. I love that this was thrown in. I've used similar water bottles in the past and I love how flat they pack down. It really reduces the amount of bulk that you have to carry with you. I love that it includes this carabiner so you can actually hang it on your bag or something while you're traveling if you don't have a spot in your jacket to hold it or even when it's full it's going to be a little bit harder to carry in the jacket so you can just hang it onto your bag use it and once it gets empty again you can just put it away very easily so really a nice additional thoughtful accessory that was included with the bag and just very excited with the travel system that the company has put together overall they really took the time to think through all the needs that travelers might have and providing a really customizable and useful system with some really awesome accessories and I've just been very excited to see how the product and company have evolved. As I did use the originals, it's nice to see that they have improved on a lot of different features, improved the quality, and just created a really useful system overall that I'm definitely gonna be using on a lot of my future trips. And so to wrap up, I've been super impressed with the Bowback Sweatshirt 2.0. I think the company has made some great improvements upon their original concept. I really love a lot of the new accessories that have been included and just a lot of the thoughtful little touches that really make this an awesome travel accessory. The sweatshirt itself has been super comfortable to wear. It fits great. And I'm really impressed with how well a lot of the different features ended up working. And so as I mentioned in the intro, the company just recently launched the jacket and you can purchase it on their site for between $169 to $250. During the holidays, it seems like the company will be running a few different specials. So if you act fast, you may be able to get the jacket for about $169. And so at the discounted $169 or at the regular $250 price point, the jacket is a little bit of an investment. One of the original critiques I had of the jacket and I think that a lot of people had was just the high price point. Even though this is a really innovative item and it offers a lot of value as you're using it throughout your trips, it is pretty expensive for a travel accessory. With that being said, Having convenience and comfort during a trip to me is worth so much. And when the jacket first came out, I was actually curious if I would be able to kind of assemble my own version of it by just using a different jacket or sweater and kind of purchasing the items separately. And what I realized was it's very difficult to actually find all the different items and then find a jacket that will actually be able to hold them with the same comfort and efficiency that this jacket does as it was all designed together. So you are paying a bit of a premium for the whole system that Bobex has organized. But if you want the best combination of accessories and a quality sweatshirt that's gonna be able to hold them all very comfortably, it's gonna be very hard to find something to beat this. And so this is the part of the video where I typically talk about how this item compares to other similar items in this category. And that's a little bit difficult with this item as I do feel it's very unique and different even from other items that are offered in this area. And so the closest alternative to the Bobax jacket that I can think of is a Scott E vest. And so I've never had a chance to actually test those out, but from what I've seen in other reviews, it looks like they have a pretty good build quality and they have some similar features. I've never been too tempted to order one of those as I just am not a big fan of the looks that they offer for those jackets. They just look a little bit more serious. They don't seem to have the same modern fit that the Bobex products seem to offer. And on top of that, they don't include a lot of the different accessories and features that this jacket offers. So if you're looking for an alternative to compare this to, that may be the closest option. But from what I've seen, I'd still be more inclined to invest in the Bobax jackets as they just seem like a more complete system in my opinion. And so with all that being said, I was really impressed with the Bobax travel sweatshirt. I think they've made some awesome improvements. I'm definitely gonna continue using this a lot on future trips. They're just a really great accessory overall. I definitely recommend you guys check them out. Take a look at some of the other versions of the jacket that they're offering. They have it in a men's and a women's version. And I'm really excited to see what Bobax comes out with next. And so I wanna go ahead and thank the company for sending the jacket for me to test out. It's been a really great experience and I'd love to hear from you guys if there are other similar kind of Swiss Army travel accessories that you love using. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.